Hello everyone and welcome to the ANSYS tutorial. So in the today's session, we are discussing stress analysis of tapered cross section. So the problem description is for the tapered bar as shown in figure, determine the displacement and stress and the reaction in the bar. Given area 1 that is this one is 1000 millimeter square and the area 2 this part is 500 millimeter square. So you have to calculate the all these values like displacement, stress and reaction uh, manually. Then you have to uh, model it in ANSYS and you have to compare the results of uh, ANSYS with the manual result. So this is the given tapered bar. So this tapered bar is not possible to model in the ANSYS. So you have to split uh, this part, simplify this part into stepped bar like this. So the tapered bar is converted into stepped bar to model it is in the ANSYS. So for making stepped bar, we have to take the average areas of, of this one, 1000 plus uh, this one is 500 divided by 2. The 750 millimeter is your average area. Using this average area, you have to make the two stepped bars uh, by using these formulas. Area 1 equals to 1000, that is this part is 1000 here. So this and average 750 divided by 2, 875 is the area of this first part. And 750 and average uh, 500, 750 is the average area and 500 is the area of this portion. You have to take the average of this one, you will get 625 millimeter. That is the uh, new modified area. This one is 625. We got uh, this one we got as uh, 875 millimeter. So the length is exactly divided into half. This 375 is divided by 2. We will get 187.5 and 187.5. Now move to the uh, manual calculation. So given Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raise 5 and the load is 1000 new, uh, Newton. The Poisson's ratio is not given. We are assuming it as 0.3. Let's move to the theoretical solution. So deformation first, since uh, the node 1 is fixed here, this portion is fixed, uh, the deformation at node 1 is 0 since uh, all the degrees of freedom is arrested here, there is no chance to move the node 1. So the node 1 is having 0 displacement. At node 2, we have to calculate the displacement at node 2 by using the formula delta L equals to PL over AE, where P stands for load, L stands for length a stands for area and e stands for Young's modulus so load is given as positive 1000 newton and the length is uh, we have divided it as 187.5 and the area of the first portion stepped bar is 875 and the Young's modulus is given as 2 into 10 raise 5 if you substitute all this value you will get an answer of 1.0774 into 10 raise minus 3 that is the deformation at node 2 for this portion uh, we have a deformation of uh, 0.187 and at the node 3 we have to calculate again so at node 3 we have uh, formula you have to add this plus another uh, step cone you have to calculate the delta L uh, portion so first you need to uh, copy this same portion here you can see plus addition of uh, second step bar we have some uh, additional displacement for that you have to put this formula 1000 into 187.5 this time the area is 625 that is your second stepped bar and the Young's modulus remains same so the total addition of this and this uh, displacement will get the answer of 2.5714 into 10 raise 3 in 10 raise minus 3 this is the displacement at node through and this is the maximum displacement so in this portion we have a displacement of what you got the answer as 2.5517 into 10 raise minus 3 we have this much deformation at node 3 and next the stress since uh, we are making three nodes using three nodes we are creating uh, two elements so we have two elements so the stress will be uh, will be calculated for elements so we have two stress since the area is different here uh, the load is 1000 which remains constant but the area will changes for since the area changes the stress also changes because the stress is mainly depends upon the area so load is uh, for first element 
load is 1000 newton positive and the area is 875 the answer will be 1.1429 for element 1 similarly for element 2 uh, load will remain same but the area changes to 625 we will get an answer of 1.6 newton per millimeter then comes the reaction we know that the total load acting on the uh, shaft uh, on the tapered cross section by addition of two reaction forces will be zero that is r1 plus r3 equals to zero um, the r3 is given as positive 1000 newton we have to substitute that here r1 plus 1000 newton equals to zero the r1 will become minus 1000 newton this will come here so this will become minus 1000 newton so we got all the manual calculation we got uh, displacement this much maximum displacement and the stress in two elements is this much and the reaction load is uh, minus 1000 newton at uh, node 1 and uh, 1000 newton at node 3 which is given so we have to compare this we have to model this in ANSYS we have to compare these uh, answers let's move to the ANSYS here go to fifth friends structural okay then go to preprocessor element type add edit delete add click on link 3d finite stn 180 click on ok click close then click on real constant click on add edit delete click on add click ok now give the area of first stepped bar that is 875 millimeter click on ok now add another set because we have different cross section area so we have to add here this is very important you have to remember add here so click on ok already this link is selected if it is not selected you have to select this link 180 then click on ok see so here area 2 has come real constant set number 2 you have to give the different area that is 625 second cross section click on ok click close then go to the material properties material library sorry material models go to structural linear elastic isotropic length modulus is given in the problem that is 2 into 10 raise 5 i'll give 2 exponential 5 and the poison's ratio is 0.3 we are assuming it is not given I'm assuming it as 0.3 click on ok now close this now go to modeling create key points go to inactive cs click on first key points u0 0 0 all x y z 0 0 it will come in origin so click on up here the first key point is created then go to second key point click on second then this only give the x distance this is in x direction you have to give only 187.5 your second key point click on apply now third key point we required at full length that is 375 click ok now we got three key points now go to lines go to straight lines click on first to second key points click on ok next go to again go to straight line click on second to third click on ok now model is over now you have to go for meshing part go to meshing here click on mesh attributes click on picked lines here select the first line here click on ok ok then select the second uh, again click on picked lines select the second to third line that is second uh, cross section click on ok now you have to change the real constant set number to 2 this is very very important if you don't change uh, this real constant set number then the same area that is what you have given for first component that is 875 will be taken for this part also 
in real constant set number we have changed the area into 625 that is our second stepped bar if you don't change this then the answer problem uh, solution will not come proper so i have to change the real constant set number to 2 click on ok now go to size control here manual size global click on size here now we have to divide the edge length as 10 and division as 100 you can give any number of division if you give more division it will take much time and the answer will be very precise so i'll give a limited of 100 division i'll click ok now i'll go for uh, mesh tool click on mesh here click pick all line here so meshing is done now we have to move for uh, solution go to define load you have to define the load here go to apply structural displacement on key points select the first key point click on ok now arrest the all degree of freedom because this portion is fixed this node one is fixed at all end you have to arrest the all degrees of freedom click on ok next you go for force and movement load click on key points select your third key point click on ok now give the fx direction that is correct fx direction is there if you want to give the load in different direction you can change the direction here but we need in x direction so positive 1000 load has to apply here click on ok see the positive load of 1000 newton has come here at the free end now go to solve current ls ok solution is done click close this close this then go to general post processor click on element table define table click on add go to by sequence number click on ls comma one we are giving these things to generate stress here click ok click close this now everything is over now now you are to go for seeing the results for that go to plot result if you want to take printout of uh, images you can go for deformed shape here you have to click on deformed and undeformed shape click on ok you can see the maximum displacement that is 0 0.00257 which is exactly as our uh, calculation theoretical calculation then go for nodal solution contour plot nodal solution here in do of solution you have to go for displacement vector sum click on ok you can see the uh, displacement vector with the help of diagram this red indicates the maximum displacement this green indicates the minimum displacement you can see at the end we have maximum displacement then go for element solution s component of stress click on ok you can see the displacement again you can go for element table here ls1 click on ok you can see the stresses here see here in the green color indicate the stress at any element 1 that is 1.143 and 1.6 red color indicates the uh, stress at the second element which is exactly matching our theoretical result if you want to see it in a figure you can click on ls1 ok here you can see this is 1.143 and this is 1.6 the element 2 if you want to print the result list the result go for list result go for reaction solution click on all items ok this is your uh, reaction load at node 1 is minus 1000 you can uh, you can we got it as minus 1000 in manual calculation also then go for nodal loads all items ok then click on element table data ls1 ok so this is the stress value 
you can see it is starting from 1.14 to 9 it will be 1.6 in the final load so the maximum values are 1.1429 and 1.6 then you can go to nodal solution as displacement vector sum click on uh, in view of solution you have to click on displacement vector sum click on ok so this indicates the displacement here see the maximum displacement 0 0.2571 to the minus 2 this is our maximum displacement so everything is matching here so we got the solution comparison is also correct so that's it for this session thank you